Hi, my name's Ian Swanston and welcome to Closers. Sales seminars are great for lead generation and positioning you and your company. However, if you've ever attended an executive briefing, a seminar or a breakfast event, the quality of speakers and presentations defines the success of the event. Great events can provide great lead generation for the companies represented, but equally, a poor talk or a presentation can be a real turn-off for what should be pre-qualified buyers in the audience. Like most things that sound really easy, it's also really easy to get it wrong. So what are the top five turn-offs for buyers you can easily avoid? Number one, selling. Yes, as ironic as this sounds, the worst thing you can do if you want to generate sales is to try to sell to people. Great speakers never pitch, they tell stories. The minute you're trying to convince people to buy, you begin to lose your credibility. This doesn't mean you cannot sell from the podium or that you do not have a strong call to action, but the tone of the pitch should never be salesy. Never try to justify your position and learn the difference between debate and argument in the event that you're challenged from the floor. Number two, content. Whenever possible, survey the audience before your talk to make sure you understand their wants and needs. This allows you to further refine your talk to exactly fit the audience. Too much content is just as bad as not enough content. And don't simply read slides from the screen. The slide should be supporting a story which is told from the presenter's memory. Slides should be dominated by pictures and supported by text, not the other way around. The content must deliver value, entertainment and learning to the audience. Regardless of your product or service, you need to position yourself as a thought leader and a domain specialist. 3. Technology If you plan to use technology, it has to work and you have to have a backup for when it doesn't work. PowerPoint is a fantastic tool but only when it is used pro properly. Consider all the alternatives such as whiteboards, flip charts and simple question and answer sessions. Check the power settings of your laptop to ensure it doesn't go into sleep mode midway through your slideshow. Don't rely on internet connectivity, your laptop or the organizer's laptop. Preload a copy of your slides onto a second laptop or at the very least a USB stick. Arrive early at the event so you can set up and pre-check the technical interface between laptops and projectors and any sound systems. Also, make sure Microsoft Outlook and Skype are switched off in the background. Number four, prepare. Not the night before, not in the morning of the event. Practice makes perfect, so you should be pitch perfect at least 24 hours before the event. Record your speech in MP3 format and play it back in your car, at work, on walks, etc. to help reinforce and remind you. Practice in front of colleagues, friends, family and the mirror. Time yourself to ensure your talk is neither too short nor too long. The audience can tell if you've prepared and more importantly, they can tell if you've not prepared. Don't embarrass yourself by thinking you're so good that you don't need to prepare. Number five, structure. Ensure you have an agenda and consider using an experienced facilitator to host and run the event. Start on time even if all your audience have not yet arrived as those who did turn up on time should not be penalised for those who didn't. Stick to the timescales agreed, taking breaks on time and finishing on time. And consider finishing early if possible. No one ever complains if an event finishes slightly ahead of schedule. Public speaking remains one of the top phobias in modern society. However, it is a prerequisite for any successful sales seminar. The skills, confidence and ability to stand in front of any audience and deliver a presentation is not a million miles from those required to stand in front of any board of directors to make a sales presentation. Like most things in life, once you've made a few presentations, they will become much, much easier. Preparation and practice will also ensure your audience remember your presentation for all the right reasons and not the wrong ones. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel. You can also visit www.closers.com. Thank you.